I've been to like nine schools in the last forever. <laughs> and it's just, I don't know. Everything just seems easier to me if I join a new school. So I asked her to go to a movie. Who? Uh, Mikayla. I guess how I got her number was through Facebook. I messaged her and then we've been texting for two, three weeks, almost. Facebook is like the starter point for all relationships. Nowadays. It's not real till it's Facebook official. Not many people have Facebook in Mexico, but when I came here, I wanted a Facebook because all my friends, like, wow, they have Facebook, they have, like, Twitter, and, and it's fun to chat with my friends, like, yeah. Always on Facebook. It's always something new I have to learn. Cause it's just on my phone, right? So it's like I'll get a message and I'll just open up Facebook and there it is. The teachers at my school are actually trying to like calm down the cell phone use and stuff like that, but like we still use them in class. Like it's not really gonna stop the teenagers nowadays from texting their friends when they're supposed to be doing classwork. There is so much information and entertainment out there now in the cloud online it's really part of young people's reality it's they don't separate their on and offline realities my name is professor shaheen sharif i'm an associate professor at mcgill university i always had an interest in the intersection of law and education and so when i came to mcgill uh, it was almost an automatic extension to look at cyberbullying in the school context, uh, in terms of the way we view traditional bullying, there's always an intent to harm. It's relentless and persistent, and there's a power imbalance. A lot of bullying is homophobic. It's sexist, it's racist. Uh, it's directed to kids who are overweight or have disabilities or even gifted kids are, are targeted. Cyberbullying is different in that perpetrators can hide behind uh, screen names, you know, they don't see the person face to face and so it's easier to harm them. We're spreading unfair rumors about people or uh, modifying photographs and distributing them. And the worst is, of course, spreading uh, photographs of assault or, or beatings all over the internet. I got cyberbullied by a friend that I hadn't seen like in three years. I was just chatting in Yahoo chat. He told me like, do you have a friend who wants to chat with you? Like, okay. He started to call my mom like names and my brother stupid. And he just started to tell me things about me and I don't even know why. You make me feel like, I don't know, make me feel like I was nothing. Like, make me feel like a loser. 